Hey yeah, this is Trackmania Replay Input Visualizer, a Windows-only program that lets you visualize inputs from replay files of these Trackmania games you can see on screen right now. The program should be useful without this video, so feel free to download it and give it a try. This video will help if you're confused about anything, or want to know more about the various features of the program. To start, simply extract the program to a folder and double-click on the .exe. It might take a bit to open up for the first time, but that is perfectly normal. For the most basic usage of the program, all you have to do is upload a .gbx replay file, select if the replay's inputs are in analog or digital, then you click process, and then you wait for a while. The program will freeze for a bit, but you know when it's done when the process button is no longer green. This will output a video to the inputs video folder that looks like this. But what if you want to overlay these inputs over a video of the run? You can do this by selecting a video file, which will make the program overlay the inputs of the replay onto the video into the final videos folder like so. A few things to note is that if your input video has audio, you want to check this checkbox right here. Additionally, you want to make sure that the resolution that you select when rendering the video matches the video that you put in. Otherwise, the input visualizer in the final video won't be properly positioned. Finally, if you don't want to generate any videos and only want to get the inputs in a text file, hit this checkbox right here and it will give you the raw inputs in the raw inputs folder. This should happen pretty quickly without much waiting. If you have any extra video before the run actually starts in your input video, you must trim it, else the overlay will be off sync. If you're using replay editor rendered video, you do not need to worry about this. This video, for example, has a countdown at the start that needs to be trimmed to properly sync the inputs with the video. All you have to do is put the second the frame right before the run starts and you should be able to sync it like so. I find the right value to put in by using a VLC with a milliseconds time extension, but there are probably better ways to find the right timestamp to trim to. If you ever run into any issues, feel free to contact me on Discord. I'll also appreciate any forms of feedback or bug reports or anything, so don't be afraid to reach out. A big, big thank you to Donadigo for making this possible and allowing replay inputs to be extracted in the first place. Another big thank you to Solid Trees' Discord for helping me test this software and giving lots of valuable feedback to make it better. 